so it's just my first time gonna, I'm gonna get some playing time and then I was like you know what just take one play at a time focus on your keys look at what you need to look at just make plays coach uh, Howell said that he said the further away you get fr from the line of scrimmage the more you have to do to, for him to trust you yeah, yeah. I, do you yeah, feel well, like you've earned that trust? Now? I feel like I have to. I've, made, I've tried to make plays, and I feel like I made a couple of plays at uh, the UCF game. And then even in practice, I'm still showing them that I can move around the field and make plays no matter what. What What do you think prepared you for that first opportunity? Just film, film, and then talking to the guys about, oh, what is the team going to do? If, if this happens, what are we going to do? So just recognizing things and just making plays. And you had Craig and you had yeah. other guys that, that were. I had Craig, team. Sky, and Dallin. They were just talking to me throughout the game, like, look at this key, look at this. And I looked at them and recognized them and then played off that. I had heard that they they'd, uh, had you maybe take some snaps in practice at quarterback. They had me at offense, yeah. yeah. And they were just looking to see. Because I had played uh, in high school. I played four years, three years a uh, quarterback and the read option and stuff. So they were just looking at it and just to see. So, yeah. So are you doing that this week too? Or? Uh, no. No, that they was got just me. before the UCF well, game. The coaches, they just told me a little bit about it. They haven't really said much like, oh, if you're going to stay on offense or stay on defense or play both ways. So I don't know. They haven't really said much. But this week you haven't done no, any, any quarterback work. Okay. Yeah. How you doing, guy? How you doing? Good, good, good. What about facing Nevada this week? Uh, Nevada? I don't know. We'll be, we'll be good. I just think we need to stop the run first. That's just one big thing that we've been emphasized all week. Right? Yeah. All season, just stop the run and then get them to third down. They can chuck it up and then we'll make plays off the ball. Does the fact that it's homecoming and back in Provo mean anything to you guys? Uh, I think just being back home, hearing our crowd and just having everybody fired up for the game, I think that would be a lot, a lot better than being away. Sorry, I'm late, but what kind of your reaction when you got thrown into the fire there uh, against UCF? Uh, I was excited. I wasn't. I wasn't timid at all. I looked at Coach Howe, looked him in the eyes. And I was like, "It's time to go." He knew that he could trust me, and I, I just tried to prove him right. I was like, "I can make plays out here, play at this level." Interception, a thrill for you? Oh yeah, my first one too. So it was, <laughs> it, was it was fun. How did, you, how did you play that? Well, I, I had a on that play. I had a half to the field, and I see the QB roll to the boundary. I just start drifting over because I'm looking at the routes and I see uh, one of the slot guys coming down the middle. So I just start breaking towards him. Just see the ball tipped up. I look, I just grab it, and just start running. Get as many yards as I could. <laughs> Is it easy, easy to stay motivated with the losses, or you guys still have that edge to you? That hunger? I think I, I think the losses like put more of an edge on us because we. I feel like the UCF game we played hard. All, everybody played hard, and we just feel like a couple plays we can just tighten up. Only that's all it is. Just a couple plays, we can just tighten up and then get back to where we were in the beginning of the season.